the Coach's Vault. I'm Brian Brazil, and today we're going to go over Shoot the Gaps. Shoot the Gaps is a very simple setup. You're going to put two cones about five yards apart, maybe even tighter, up to three yards, um, at a spot in the field you'd like your players to get to more often. For me, that's always going to be the island. You know, for attack, it's five yards up and five yards out from the outside pipe. And for the midfield, it could be the same. I like to call it uh, seven yards up and five yards out um, from the pipe. Uh, just middies, I want to give a little more angle in their downhill shots because our stick's facing downhill, so our angle's a little lower from the eyes of the stick than it would be if our stick's upfield. Um, regardless, you're going to set these cones up in tough spots to get to on the field about five yards apart. And I'm going to have a line of defenders and a line of offensive players at whatever spot I'm running my ISOs from. Let's say we're going from X and uh, up top for the sake of this drill. And we're going to have a defender come out, and coach is going to blow two whistles. First whistle is for the defender to approach. Second whistle is for the offensive player to engage a dodge. He's just going to start this dodge, either gap that he wants to shoot, right? And he's just going to simply try and get through these cones. Once he's through the cones, he can shoot or re-dodge. So if he doesn't have his hands free here, he can roll back and generate a shot or rock or step or whatever he needs to do. If he doesn't get through the cones and the defense enforces him wide, then it's a point for the D. If he gets through, it's a point for the O. Um, same thing from X. We're going to go you know, defender and offensive player out. First whistle, defender approaches. Second whistle, offensive player engages the dodge and tries to split the gaps. Once he does, he can re-dodge, continue over the top, and shoot whatever he wants to do. So the goal is simply to get through the two cones. It's a very physical drill. Um, defense will have to use their body. Offense will have to get used to uh, dodging against a physical, aggressive defender. And uh, it's great for both sides of the ball. We'll head out on the field and show it to you now. All right, so now it's time to show you shoot the gaps on the field. And we'll turn it over to these guys. So what's going to happen right now if Sean's the first guy in line, he can go either way. The goal of the drill is to get through these sets of cones that we set up right around the island. He can go whichever way he wants, do whatever he wants to get through the cones. Once he gets through the cones, it's a point. If the defenseman pushes him to the outsides of the cones so he doesn't get through them, it's a point for the defense. You can add points where if the offense scores, it's another point. Um, if the defense stops it or gets a good check, it's a point for them. But you can kind of have fun with it. But the main point of the drill is to get through the cones and as a defenseman you don't want them getting through the cones so we'll go live for a couple here we go guys go good Teddy play the body don't let him through those cones good now we can do whatever you know and if I was scoring it would be two points for the offense next one up go good push him push him don't let him through the cones good so that's a point for the defense he didn't get through the cones there so it's a point for the D good Teddy push Push. Good, he's through the cones. One point. Two points. Here we go. Good, drive up. Good. Good, so it's one and one. One point for the D, one point for the O. Hey, defenders, guys, let's not take the ball away. I don't need you taking the ball away, right? It, and a rule of defense, right? If they're engaging us, if an offensive player is engaging us, right, should I be throwing checks? Should I be throwing checks? No. No, never, right? If he's engaging me, I want to have this stick here. Make him make his move early, and then as soon as he makes his break, I want to stay right on this back hip and drive him right to the sideline. Right? If he's driving up here, right? I want to stay on this hip. I don't need to try and take the ball away. This does nothing except for give him an automatic point, get him through the cones. I want to be here if he commits and push him out. Now we can't get through the cones, and you've done your job, right? If you stay here, right? Let's say we're here, right? Roll a couple times, right? If he rolls and you're just here, rolls back, right? You've done your job, right? He's not getting through those cones. Just stay right there. And then as he makes his break, right? We're here, bam, push him out. Right? And you can get that push out, right? But we don't need to be throwing these. How many offensive players, their body hurts already from this? It's all right. You don't have to be tough, guys. Run with that body. Run with that body. Drive him out. Drive him out. Good. Good. It's all right. Hey, in a game, that's our ball, right? 
Here we go. Go. Nice shot, Sean. Good. Good job. And that is it for Shoot the Gaps. We'll see you next time on the vault.